Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com and in this tutorial, I want to give you a quick overview of the Salesforce Lightning UI. So we're going to go ahead and talk about applications in Salesforce, the tabs, objects in the fields, profiles, users, etc. So let's go and log into our Salesforce accounts. In order to log in, we'll go to login.salesforce.com. And then here you're going to go ahead and use your username, which is platform app builder at mytutorialrack.com. And this is your password. So we'll go ahead and log into the developer's account that we created earlier. And when you log in, this is the home page that looks like this. So in the quick find, you can see here whatever you want to type. If you want to look for something, you want to see how many users are there in Salesforce or you're going to see the profiles that are there. So you can go ahead and do a quick find and we'll talk about all of that in upcoming tutorials. But this is basically a place to search anything inside of Salesforce. Now, if you see here, if there is these nine dots, it's called as an app launcher as well. So when you when you click on this one, it will go ahead and open up the apps that are given to you. So Salesforce comes up with the apps like sales app, service applications, marketing, etc. So you can go ahead and get a complete list of applications inside of Salesforce by clicking on this app launcher. And then you can go ahead and click on the view all. And this is all the apps that Salesforce has a service app, marketing, community, sales console, sales, etc. So when you click on one of these apps, you can go ahead and uh, click on the app and then corresponding to this sales app, these are the tabs associated with this particular application. So you can see here the sales app consists of opportunity tab, leads, tasks, accounts, etc. Now, if you want to switch to a different app, let's say we want to go over to the service app, then you will see that some of the apps might be common across multiple applications, which is normal. So if you go over to the service app, you will see that the service app also has accounts, contacts, which we saw it in the sales app as well. First thing is we have apps. Apps are made up of different tabs here. And uh, if you want to switch from one app to the other, you can click on over here and then you can switch between the apps. Now, the next thing is if you want to go ahead and directly access a tab. So let's say if I wanted to go over to the account tab, all I have to do is click on this one. And then here you can search for the keyword accounts and it'll go ahead and show you this accounts here and it'll open up this accounts tab. Now Salesforce doesn't give you empty slate. It also gives you some data along with the objects that it has created. So if you see here, these are the existing records that are there inside of Salesforce. So if you go over to the accounts, you already have about 13 records if you go over to the contacts you will also find about similar number of records for this contact tab as well so if you go over to the contacts tab under this list view if you change over to all contacts it was going to go ahead and pull up the contacts that are already being given to you there are approximately about 20 items so we talked about applications and we talked about different tabs here and then if you wanted to go over to a different tab, let's say if you wanted to search for cases, you can either go to service app and then open up the case, or you can just search over in the app launcher and then go ahead and click on the cases. It'll open up this cases tab for you. And it'll have some list views already, like all the closed cases, all open cases. So if you click on over here, it'll give you the list of the cases. So this is just the data that has already been provided to you by Salesforce. Now over here, if you wanted to look for that anything inside of Salesforce, you will click on this gear icon and you will go over to the setup. And uh, over here, you can type in whatever you want. So whenever you create an account with Salesforce, there you will be listed under this users. And you want to go ahead and look for users. So click under the users. And the, this is the existing users in your org right now. So you remember creating this particular account, which is my first name, last name, and then this is the username. And then this account belongs to 
this username has a profile of system administrator. So I'm a system admin. What is a system admin does? So anytime you have to create a user, you also have to provide a profile of to that user. So profile will control what application the user is allowed to see, what objects a user is allowed to see. So profile controls the visibility. And anytime you create a user inside of Salesforce, you have to provide the profile. So one user can only have one profile at a time, but one profile can be shared between multiple users. And we will dig deeper into profiles in the upcoming tutorial, but just to give you an overview that we have, when we created an account, we automatically have a user and that user username is this and the profile of that user is system admin. Along with this user, you also got some other profiles user like chatter user, integration user, etc. So if you go ahead and uh, go over, click on this system administrator, it will open up the profile of system administrator. And if you wanted to edit anything on this profile, so this is a standard profile. So just like Salesforce provides you with some sample data, Salesforce also have this profiles that you can either use to clone. You can use those sample profiles or the standard profiles. You can create your own profile using that as a template. And uh, if you want to edit, because there is very limitation on what you can change on an existing profile, only a few things you'll be able to change. Not everything on a standard profile can be changed. So if in order to have a profile that you want to control, you have to create a custom profile. So in order to create a custom profile, what you have to do is you just have to either clone one of those standard profiles. So if I go over to the profiles, Right now, if you think that I'm going fast forward, don't worry. We'll go to slowly, slowly cover all of these topics one by one. This is just an overview of the things that I'm providing to you. So if you go over to the profiles, you will find that these are the existing profiles that Salesforce has already given to you. And there are a total of about 37 profiles. Now you can change how many you want to see it at, on a single page. You can change that number by clicking on 10, 25. So if you just want to see 10, profiles then you have to go to the next page in order to, to see the next 10 profiles now each profile has a name and it also has a license so this profile uses a salesforce license this customer community login user uses this license etc so now here if you wanted to create a new profile or if you want to use an existing profile and you want to clone it what you can do is you can either use this clone next to it so it'll automatically clone the profile and it'll, you can basically create your custom profile as well so you can use whatever the standard profiles comes with and then you can clone it basically create a duplicate of that and then you can make any type of changes on your custom profile now since we want to if you want to go to a system admin profile you can directly click on the first letter which is s system admin starts with letter s so when you go over to click S, then it'll go ahead and give you all the profile starts with the letter S. So here you have is a system admin profile. And if you remember, I am a system admin because if you go over to the user that I created, I automatically got a profile of a system admin. So this is what we have is the quick overview. So if you wanted to switch to a different application, you go over and click on, let's say sales app or service app, etc. If you want to search something, you go to this gear icon and uh, you can go ahead and click on this setup here. And this is where you can search things across and the, the way you search it, the corresponding matches will appear. So if you are searching for the word email, so everything related to email will show up and then you can kind of see where, what do you want to do? You don't exactly have to know what everything is located under. You basically, when you use Salesforce on a day-to-day -day basis, things kind of become uh, like a second nature and you'll start learning things very fast. So first few times might be a little diff difficult for you to grasp, but slowly and slowly when you start using it, you will becomes very easy for you to navigate through this UI. So I would recommend you guys to go ahead and play with this UI 
and then uh, I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.